to form a pressure group called Ford. And we said we are going to, uh, you know, before we formed Ford, we had said that we are going to have, because they said that Kenya was not ready for multipartism. Multipartism will breed uh, ethnicity. So you need a strong national party, Shikano. So we said that you know, we want Kenya is ready for multipartism. And if you are doubting it, we want to go to Kamkunji and ask the people of Kenya if they are ready for multipartism. Kenneth Matiba and Charles Rubia made the statement. And I joined them. And we decided that we are going to have a rally at Kamkunji on the 7th of July, 1990. 7th of July, that's what became known as Saba Saba, 1990. So we were mobilizing. Matiba was mobilizing Matatus to get people to come to Kamkunji. I was mobilizing through the Ngorma here group and Lu Union to get people to come to, to Kamkunji. On the 2nd of July, Matiba and Rubia were arrested. On the 4th of July, you are truly was arrested. And you were taken to detention. But when Ainchi turned up at Kamkunji, and fought the police, and many people were shot and killed at that time. Over 50 people were shot and killed at that time. You are fortunate to have also witnessed a similar killing recently. But you need to know that it happened in 1990, uh, in July. But the Kenyan spirit did not die. Mateva went there, got a stroke, came out limping, was flown to London, but his life was completely undermined. Charles Obea came out there, he nearly lost his throat. He had a gone a surgery in detention. I am the one who came out strong. So we moved on. Later on, we formed a pressure group called Ford, Forum for Restoration of Democracy in Kenya. Now we are now the Young Tax. Now we have been joined by the group I mentioned to you. And we fought as the Young Tax until eventually uh, when we brought in the older generation. Jamogi, Shikuku, uh, Nani, um, uh, Moliro, Ndenge, Bamaris, and so on. So we formed Ford. And Ford now fought until eventually uh, there came now the Kamukunji 2, which you now will be seeing pictures on the top of the trucks. That is not in Saba Saba. That was now 1991. Saba Saba was in, that was October 1991. Saba Saba was in July 1990. But by 1991, I had been whisked out of the country because they were looking for me again for, to pick me up for the fourth time. And I escaped town and uh, ended up in Norway in exile. I'm just giving you this story to give you a summary of how the struggle was. Then we now eventually man managed to get them to allow multi-party. And we formed Ford. Of course, eventually Ford split because of ethnic politics, cheap ethnic politics. And we went into elections divided. We split the votes because we have three parties in the opposition, Moi slipped through with 34% of the vote, he beat us. We got the, uh, 
66%. But we lost. Then now, uh, we moved again and we fought in, in, in Parliament. We insisted that reforms must be introduced because there was an, there was a, we, uh, we were having multi-party under the old constitution. The structures were all still very single party. One time we staged a protest in Parliament on the budget day. When Moi was there, we stood up, all of us, and we were shouting, no reforms, no budget. No reforms, no budget. Uh, the then Minister for Finance, Mr. Mutusari Mudabadi, was an, could not read the budget properly. In the end, that is how what led to what was called the IPPG, Interparliamentary, uh, um, in, uh, uh, Interparliamentary Group, that came up with minimum amendments to the Constitution. But eventually, we, uh, we, we, it took a longer time.